Hi guys, it's Elise from The Painted Brush & Co. I am here tonight with this dresser that I've been working on the past few weeks and I'm finally up to the final stages which is applying the top coat and um, applying special effects. So, this dresser has been painted with Lessential Botanics Elephant Grey which is a beautiful soft grey. It's a lot lighter than the French grey which I've used on uh, several other pieces. Um, so it's been painted with the elephant grey and then the bottom, oh, sorry, the body and the top along with there's uh, four drawers here have all been sealed as is like just over the paint with the Lessential Botanics Flat Sealer and now I'm up to these uh, drawers which have got these this beautiful um, intricate pattern to them with heaps of grooves and, and, and nooks and crannies so I am highlighting them with Lessential Botanics Charcoal Glaze which I'm about to show you how to do. Um, so Lessential Botanics have several glazes in their collection. Um, I carry three so far and I will be getting the white glaze very soon but to begin with I have got the transaculant glaze so the clear glaze. It's white in the bottle but it goes on clear. Secondly, I have the Dark Antique, which is a brown. And last but not least, I have the Charcoal, which is what I'm using tonight. So glaze in itself can be used as a top coat. Um, after you have applied glaze like this, or just as the clear glaze by itself, um, you don't have to apply any other finishes over. Um, as with all the Central Botanics products, it is eco-friendly and vock free There's no nasty smells. It's water-based. It comes off your hands in seconds under the water. Um, so it's very, very easy clean up. With this dresser, with these drawers rather, I have um, painted them with the charcoal grey and then I have sealed them with the clear glaze. And you'll see in a minute why I did that. You don't have to. Um, but it's uh, for the look for this look that I'm going for I found it much easier the essential botanics paint is quite porous and it will suck in this glaze uh, like there's no tomorrow so by applying the clear glaze first it just makes it much easier to apply the charcoal and then to get this really beautiful rub back look and now I've got my charcoal glaze so they just come in at 250 ml tubs give it a good shake doesn't need a lot but sometimes the pigments tend to settle a little bit so it likes a good good shake you open it up yeah I am applying this with a brush you can have a go at applying it with different uh, materials but I prefer a brush and tonight I am using my Klingon R12 very very well worn you can see the handle starting to chip away there um, this is one of the round small brushes and this brush is fantastic for getting into this detailing which is what I want to do. So all I'm doing is applying a little tiny bit to the end of my brush. I'm not applying a lot at a time and it's quite warm in here tonight so I'm only applying small sections at a time but all I'm doing is brushing that in there and getting it. I want to get it into all those little grooves. And by getting it in there, I actually didn't have enough on my brush, get it into those grooves. And don't be too fast. I know you can, although you guys won't be able to see it on the camera, I can see all those little brush strokes from doing it like this. Don't stress about them at all. All those little brush strokes are going to disappear. So get it in there. It is quite warm. I'm working fairly quickly. Paper towel. I found paper towel actually works best for this. And all you're going to do is you're going to rub it back. You're going to remove as much of that excess as you can. Obviously you want to leave a bit, but it's almost like you're buffing wax. But just start rubbing. You see how much lighter that's getting already? I'm just removing that excess. If you don't apply the clear glaze first, what you will find will happen is this wax, this charcoal will be almost impossible to remove because it will just soak into that paint so fast. 
Um, of course, you don't have to, and if you want that look, you can go for it. I personally find uh, it's easier to apply glaze like this. So, rub it in there. I've used glaze uh, before on raw timber, and it gives a beautiful, uh, just adds to the grain of it more than anything. I actually used it on a black dresser that had a raw timber base, and it just gave the base a bit more of a um, enhanced grain because it made the grain look quite, um, quite a bit darker. I don't have to apply any other products over the top of this. You can, of course, if you want to, um, but you definitely don't need to. It's not necessary because the glaze in itself is a top coat. Now, of course, you can build layers um, as much as you like. So if you, you can either let this dry or you can do it straight away and you can just keep building the layers. You can apply a different color if you wanted to. I'm not going to, I'm loving this, just the charcoal. Um, but you can apply different colors. You can layer it, you can blend it with the different colors, whatever you really want to do. It's such a versatile, easy to use product. Anybody can do this. Not sure how well you can see in the camera there. The paint job on this isn't perfect at all. Um, I put up a photo the other day where it did all look perfect and it was originally. This particular drawer, I actually did this whole process last night and I wasn't happy with it so I painted over it. And I only did one coat of paint and the charcoal is covering up all that, all that little bit of splotchiness still quite easily. Um, so I'm not too fussed at all about having and not uneven but it's not like that perfect paint underneath if anything it's just adding to the character a little bit more so if you don't like this and I love that if you don't like your glaze paint on over it and you can start again or you can go in a different direction So all I'm looking for as I do this is making sure that it's nice and even um, all over and in comparison to the other drawer as well. So that's really important to me. I want a bit of cohesion amongst the three drawers. So I don't want one super dark and then the other ones like a completely different, uh, different uh, looking finish which is why I actually redid this one. It was way too dark. This is where I clean up all these little lines here because I'm now doing this underside bit. This is going to clean them up. Just apply a little bit over and you'll find when you apply it over, it actually just makes um, anything that's already on the surface a little bit viable and a little bit easier to move. And it's just gonna clean up all those brush strokes. So this one here, wipe it over. See how that's just blended that in like perfectly um, and that's what I love about this product. That's my lid and that's all I've used. That's all I've needed for the entire drawer. I haven't had to touch the pot at all.